In this video, we're going to talk about the different types of Sudoku puzzles. But first, I want to show you this number. This number is the number of possible Sudoku solutions. And if you're curious here, this is 21 zeros. And uh, the name of this number is actually called sextillion. So it's six, almost seven sextillion possible Sudoku solutions. And if you think about most Sudoku puzzles, most of them have their own unique solution. Sometimes they have more than one solution. So that number tells us that we'll never run out of new and unique puzzles to solve for every sort of difficulty. And to me, that's pretty exciting. Okay, let's look at the different types of Sudoku puzzles. This first one is called Super Sudoku, or I've also heard it called uh, 16 by 16 Sudoku. So it's the same rules as the normal Sudoku, except you have columns and rows of 16 cells each. And in this puzzle, you can tell that the numbers go up to 16. So you'll find one through 16 down uh, vertically, uh, horizontally in the rows, and you also find it in each of the blocks. Sometimes in Super Sudoku, they'll do numbers 0 to 9 and then letters, usually letters A to F, but this one is just 1 through 16. So that's a different variation if you get bored of the normal Sudokus. It's a bit harder because you have a lot more numbers to take into consideration. This one is called Samurai Sudoku, and it's a puzzle where five grids overlap. And you can see the five grids here is one, two, three, four, with a fifth one in the middle. And it's the usually the bottom corners that overlap a fifth one. I get crossword vibes with this type of puzzle because usually you'll have um, the intersecting letters in each of the words in the in the cross and the down. And that's kind of what I see with this middle grid here. Speaking of crosswords, this one is called Kakuro. And it's a puzzle where the vertical and horizontal lines have to equal the number in the triangle. So it's almost like a crossword where you have, uh, you'd have like 16 across and 30 down. And here you'd have to find two numbers that equal 16 and are not the same. So eight and eight wouldn't work. It'd have to be nine, let's say nine and seven. And then this going down, the numbers would have to equal 30. This variation is called Killer Sudoku, and it's a beautiful mix between classic Sudoku and crossword puzzles. The puzzles usually start with no numbers, but you're given some additional clues as to how to get started. And I want to show you, um, this is an example with kind of highlights to show you the potential blocks. These little number clues, if we look at this 14 here, this number clues, uh, or sorry, this number of a clue tells us what numbers need to be filled into this pink highlighted section that they have to be different and also equal 14. So you follow regular Sudoku rules where um, all different numbers have to appear in the blocks, in the rows, and in the columns. But additionally, in these sections, uh, you have to have the numbers equal what the clue is. So for 14, uh, can't be seven and seven because you'll have two sevens in this block and in this row. So it would have to be something like an eight and a six. And if we look at the six here, it'd have to be something like a one, two and a three or one, two and a three this way. And yeah, you get the idea. This would have to be something like a four and a two. So by the end of the puzzle, all of these need to equal the little clues in the highlighted section. And this one has a yellow, green, blue, and a pink. And they also overlap between the blocks too, which uh, increases the difficulty a little bit. Here we have Jigsaw Sudoku, where each of the highlighted uh, colors are its own kind of jigsaw blocks. And you have to fill in the jigsaw blocks to have the numbers one through nine, but not repeat them but you also have to follow the horizontal and vertical rules of a normal Sudoku puzzle. So the column and row rules. So each row needs to be numbers one through nine and each columns need to be one through nine, but also you need to fit one through nine in each of the colored blocks here. So just picture this type of puzzle instead of the normal Sudoku three by three grids that make up the entire nine by nine grid, 
just think of those blocks have been morphed into just oddly shaped jigsaw blocks and then uh, the regular Sudoku rules apply uh, from there on. This fun variation is called Sudoku and uh, I will oh you can see it right here I named the file it it's a very clever mix between those two words uh, it's played by first starting you have a just a complicated puzzle that's already filled in and then we're trying to find where the jigsaw blocks go like showed in the last section so you kind of work backwards here the two major rules are each block has to contain the numbers one through nine and also each block has to follow these bolded borders so you can't have a block that crosses the bolded border so this is an example of how one of these puzzles might look from the start this one's unfilled and now I'm going to show you how one looks once it is completed so this is how one would look when it's completed and you can see the different shades here uh, in this section you got the numbers one through nine they don't have to be in order obviously but they do have to follow the borders as you can tell it doesn't cross this border or any of these. This variation is commonly called word Sudoku and it works like regular Sudoku but uses letters instead of numbers. Uh, and usually, but not always, one of the horizontal rows or the vertical columns contain an actual legit word. And in this example, it is wonderful and then it uses the letters in wonderful to complete the rest of the puzzle. So sometimes it starts you with the full word Sometimes you have to find the full word and then continue on the puzzle uh, from there on. And finally, there is mini Sudoku, which is a much simpler version of the normal Sudoku. And you can see the total grid is a six by six instead of nine by nine. So the mini blocks inside are two by three. And if you wanna get your kids into Sudoku, this is probably a good type of puzzle to start. Uh, it's a little easier than the complicated nine by nine ones. Uh, or if you're just starting out with Sudoku and you want to just uh, work on some very easy beginner puzzles, I'd say you should start with mini Sudokus. Okay, it's quiz time. Question number one, how many possible Sudoku solution combinations are there? Is it A, roughly 6 billion or B, roughly 6 sextillion? And the answer is B, roughly six sextillion. And remember there is 21 zeros in that number, just an insane amount of possible solutions. Uh, question number two, what do you call a Sudoku puzzle with crossword-like clues, but normal Sudoku rules? Is it A, crossword Sudoku or B, killer Sudoku? And the answer is B, killer Sudoku. And I will show an image of how that one looks. Okay, question number three here. What do you call a five grid Sudoku puzzle that overlaps in the middle? Is it called A, Samurai Sudoku or B, Ninja Sudoku? And the answer is A, Samurai Sudoku. And again, I will show an image on the screen here of what that puzzle looks like just to remind you. And the final question, question number four, how many cells are in a mini Sudoku? Is it A, 64? or B, 36? And the answer is B, 36. It's a six by six grid, so six times six equals 36 cells. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.